part B, we're asked to find the values of x um, in this range satisfying this here, okay? Now, because it's tan of 3x minus 57 equals this, I'm going to find the result for 3x minus 57, right? So I'm going to do tan to the minus 1 of 0 point, minus 0 0.81. So if I do that on my calculator, it comes out to be minus 39 degrees, okay? Round it because it's minus 39.00. Okay, so that result there is for 3x minus 57, right? And that's just one result. I need to find what other results there are, okay? And ultimately, I want to find the results for x, don't I, in that range. But at the moment, I found my result. This result here is for 3x minus 57. So I'm going to find all my results for 3x minus 57. But in order to do that, I've got to get my range based on this, okay? So if I've got x between 0 and 180, then 3x minus 57. Well, let's go for 3x first of all. Well, timesing x by 3, so you times everything by 3, so you get 540 there, 0 there. And then 3x minus 57, well, take away 57, there you get 483, and take away 57 there. And zero, you get minus 57. So our results have got to be between these values here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to draw my tan graph, okay, and it's got to be between these values. So I think I'll do every two centimeters now, representing 90. I need to go back to minus 57. So I'm going to go back to 90, on I? Okay. Um, so that will be zero there, 90. Um, 180, 270, 360, um, 450, and I need a bit more than I 483, so I've got a 540 there. Okay, so remember then the asymptotes at um, 90 minus 90, so it's every 180 degrees effectively. So you can check on your calculator, so 270, 450. So we'll write in the values there. And then we draw our tan graph, okay? Okay, now the result we've got is minus 39. The minus 39 is around here somewhere. Okay, so it hits the graph there, and we can then find what other results we've got there. Okay, so um, we've got this result here, that result there, and possibly this result here. I'm not sure about that one, because remember, we only need to go up to 483, and that might be higher than 483, we'll see now. So minus 39 is there, isn't it? So 39 across, so it'd be the same here, wouldn't it? Okay, from 180, it'd be 39 across. So you've got minus 39, the first result, 180 minus 39 then, and this result then, 360 minus 39, and then this result then be 540 minus 39. So this is for 3x minus 57. That's what I've based these solutions on. So what I can do now is simplify this. This is minus 39. That will be uh, 141. This will be 321. And this will be 501. And as I said earlier, I don't actually have to include that one now because it's outside of my range, right? Okay. I want all the solutions in that range there. So these three are, that one's outside. So I can ignore it, it's not gonna work, right? So then, to get x, well I take over the minus 57 first and add it. So, so I got minus 39 there, I need to add the 57, so it comes out to be 18. Same then with 141, add the 57, so I get 198. And then same then with the 321, add the 57, so I get 378. To get x, then I divide by 3, so that'll be 6. Sixty-six. And 
126. So those are the three solutions I, I have there, okay, between 0 and 180.